Welcome back from the break. You're still watching This Week, and I'm Sumner Sambo. Now, the Nigerian military has denied accusations by the Senate that intelligence failure on its part led to the Goza twin suicide bomb attacks, which claimed at least 32 lives last Saturday. In his contribution to a motion by Senator Alin Dume, President of the Senate, Goswil Akwabio, on Wednesday blamed the suicide attacks on intelligence failure, an accusation the military command has wrongly denied, even as the Senate called on the military to rethink its war strategy and tactics against terrorists in the country. Although the military admits that Nigeria is currently at war, it maintains that the battle is being properly executed, pointing out that the end of terrorism in the country is imminent, even as the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tarid Lagbaja, says the leadership of the army is working to motivate troops to battle terrorists from all fronts while pleading with Nigerians for support and understanding. Uh, General Lagbaja continues uh, this conversation now. Let's listen to him. Well, to help us dissect uh, the suicide attacks in Goza, the National Assembly's position and Nigeria's protracted insecurity, we have joining us in the studio, uh, the executive director of the Authority newspaper, who is uh, a strategist and uh, a good commentator. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> let, thank you so uh, let, let's talk about... Yeah, thank you for having me. Yes, so thank yes. you so much yes. for joining us. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about the political angle that this story was beginning to take during the week. Uh, we've seen the chief of army staff, uh, Lagbaja, going around. Uh, we've seen the vice president visiting Goza and all of that. We've seen the army. I think it happened during the week when the army is holding uh, lots of engagement yes. with Nigerians everywhere. The Senate is saying that there seems to have been an intelligence failure. Even the foreign media is picking it up. Yeah. What's your general assessment? Yeah, I, I think it's very, very unfortunate that the Senate president, for the Senate president to have said what he said about... Uh, the Senate to talk about um, intelligence failure. To begin with, at this time, what our military require is support. And then the last person who should be criticizing the military should be the, I mean, the Senate should be the last um, group of people who should be criticizing the military. You see, all over the world, if you look at the Global Terrorism Index for this year, of the first 10 countries that are, that are in the top 10 countries, four are in the Sahel, Nigeria. In fact, the number one on global um, um, scale is uh, Burkina Faso, you know, followed by um, um, number three is, um, um, number three is um, Mali. Nigeria is number seven, and Nigeria is number 10. So, and it's a, it's, a, it's a wonder that Nigeria is on number seven because Nigeria is the most populated country in Africa and definitely the most populated in, in, in the West Africa region, Sahel. So if, given the nature of our location, our geographical location, you see on the, on the north, less than 2,000 kilometers from Nigeria, you have Libya. Then less than 1,500 as the crow flies to the left, to the west, you have Mali, the epicenter of, um, of terrorism in, in, in West Africa, if, if you, you know, I mean, that's the truth. So what, what, what we should be, I think we should appreciate what we have. You know, given, because well, you ask yourself, you, you've asked a man to go and catch a lion with bare hands. You have to ask yourself, what is Nigeria's military budget? We had instances in the, in the past where the biggest military power in the world, the U.S., they went to um, Somalia to capture Farah Aidid, and, when, and it ended in disaster. They lost three um, um, Black Hawk helicopters, tens of millions of years, and lost many men. Um, in the heat of the Cold War, um, USSR, USSR invaded Afghanistan. And after 10 years, they pulled out. They couldn't, no headway. America went to Vietnam. America lost. America went to Iraq. America lost. America went to Afghanistan. America lost. So it's not about military might or about intelligence or about this. Because what we're basically combating is an ideological uh, problem. If you recall, before um, the fall of um, Muammar Gaddafi, we didn't have this problem. We didn't have this problem. If you, if you notice, you, you discover that uh, the, the sp spate of attacks you know, heightened after the fall of um, Saddam, I mean, um, Muammar Gaddafi. As we speak, there's a civil war going on in Sudan. How far is Sudan from Nigeria? We've talked about the proliferation of uh, small arms, and I mean, small and medium 
arms in, in around, around West Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, these are things. So it's, it's in light of this, because if you want to, if you want to examine a person, you know, a person who attended the University of uh, uh, local universities who attended Harvard, you, I mean, you won't read, I mean, you won't give them the same exams, because but given the present circumstances, I don't speak for the military, but I think the military has done very very well, particularly with yeah. the current leadership that we have. All so, right. so the least we expect from our lawmakers is to is to encourage them because it requires motivation. Same. Yeah, but they said that there was intelligence failure and that the, well, it looks see, like the military is not doing see, so much. Samuel, let me ask. Let, Will let, it be that let, the army let, was relaxing? No, no, let me see. To, to begin with, it is not the duty. We're not, we're not, doing, we're not engaged in a conventional, I mean, it's not a conventional war, warfare. Let's, it's it's, uh, it's uh, terrorism. And the army is not, because we're not fighting a defined, um, we're not defined, find defined force. You understand me? That's, we should understand that first. The intelligence ought to come from the police and from the SSS, because SSS is vested with the, with the responsibility of gathering intelligence in Nigeria, the NIA abroad, you understand? So we should also understand the, the challenges confronting the military, because the, the enemy is not defined. So it's, a, it's like it's guerrilla, it's, it's terrorism. Don't forget that in America, people came free into America, stayed in America, lived in America, bought food in America, bought mm -hmm. equipment in America, and bombed America right from America. We, we all know the story of 9-11. It was in America. Before the attack on Pearl Harbor, <laughs> there was intelligence. See, uh, all intelligence right. is not, it's not from God. I mean, this is not, this, we're talking about human yeah, beings. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's man I mean, I mean it's, But it's man one of the major reasons why I brought you here, Chooks, is yes. actually the international dimension that this uh, latest attack is bringing. I mean, if you read the Washington Post uh, during the week, it actually said, let me read its headline to you. Mm -hmm. Nigeria claims it has degraded extremists. New suicide bombings suggest they remain potent. You see, how do you, no, no, you see, no, no, <laughs> react you see, to that? No, 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 such see, a headline. No, it's from America. I mean, I, I don't want to. I don't have a problem with America, but we all know that even as an undergraduate student, of sociology student, we all learn that everything black is bad. You know, you have art is supposed to be art. You know, art is supposed to be art, whether it's from Malaysia or from Africa. But all the artworks from Africa, they were taken to the museum and called Museum of Primitive Art. So we all know this. You know, it's, it's a mindset. Even if you are a journalist and you report for these foreign news agencies, I mean, and you wrote that, you know, Nigeria is building a solar plant or something, it only, it, no, no, nobody will use that story. They only want to write stories that about diseases, about earthquakes, about famine, and of course about suicide bombing. But then, is suicide bombing, is it, is it exclusive to Nigeria? And the fact that these people chose to use women, you know, soft targets, you know, as as a, as a courier for their for their um, for their trade of death, shows that the military has really really dealt with them, because if you if you recall, before 2015, it I mean, they were attacking troops every day, no week passed without you hearing about ambush of this ambush of that, but since the current leadership of the military took over, I mean. You understand? That's why they are resorting to, and you cannot see. It's only God that can stop a suicide bomber, because the worst crime on earth is to is for one to take to take his life. But somebody who has decided to take his life, because anybody who wants to be a suicide bomber has has agreed to take his own life. Yeah, but the senators are actually saying that look. There could have been a better way of sensing, of detecting, you know, all of this. How, how could in no, such no, a no, gathering no, 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 and all no. of that? Does it mean that no, no, we relaxed no. after we made some no, no, wins? No, no, no. no. Uh, if, if, you, if you recall, this wasn't the swearing in of a governor. This was this was this was this was a normal. I, yeah, I mean, normal, ha, normal ceremony, you know, yeah. wedding, you know. So I mean, for crying out loud, how many how many um, centuries can you put for such ceremonies? I mean, who, who would? Who would, suicide, bomb, suicide, suicide bombings occur all over the world. You can't stop that. The only, the only way you can stop suicide bombing is if the bomber himself decides to, you know, to, to try to change, try to change the ideology. E e e e exactly. All, all right, so the military has reacted now saying that, look, the chief of armies has specifically said that, look, we are motivating troops, trying to see how we support them to do more within this insurgency, and saying that the war on terrorism is not over yet, so Nigerians should be at a lot. Should Nigerians believe the military? No, of course. You see, it's, it's the truth. I mean, it's, it's, it's very clear. I told you about Mali. Gao is the headquarters of ISWAP in West Africa. I mean, that's the truth. 
There is a town in Mali, and if you look at the distance from that place, you know, we all know how our... I mean, are you also expect, expecting the soldiers to our troops to go and man our borders? Because you have the immigration. You see, so these things are, are delineated. So you don't expect soldiers to be at every... I mean, all the 932,000... I mean, all our... our, our what do you call it? Um, our, our borders. Borders, yeah. borders to Border check everybody who comes actually. into the country. That's the truth. That is one. Then number two... What the chief of army staff said is very important because you see what what makes a troop what makes a troop deliver is motivation. So if with all the because um, it's it's um, the military is the only institution where people where there's contract of unlimited liability. There's nowhere in the world. Even there, there, there are no symmetries for president. There are no symmetries for governors. There are no symmetries for even chief of operation. But you have military symmetry. This, the military is a very, very special organization. It's, a, it's an institution where, even in debt, the state pays for upkeep of the person's corpse in cemeteries. You understand? So, anybody who is assigned to join the military has given everything. Nobody can be more patriotic than the military. So, for you to be Senate President or for you to be this and come and talk about motivation, I mean, that intelligence, I mean, it's very, very wrong. It's very, very wrong because the least we needed now are such talks. All right, we need that Senator Adam Soshomole, yes. I mean, <laughs> this is Senator from Edo, Edo North, actually raised an issue, saying that, look, and, and this is what I'm trying to quote, what he had said, uh, that the Senate should not only seek to provide more funds for the army, but jealously monitor the procurement process. While the Senate generally later on stepped down, you know, uh, they plan to actually oversight uh, monies appropriated to previous service chiefs, saying that, look, these are security matters. How, how, how do you contextualize this issue? I mean, the need to probe monies being no, given no, see, to see, service see, chiefs, see, 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 and then they need to also hide it so that it's not coming to the public, so that we don't castigate and downgrade the morale of the military. You see, without, without uh, sounding petty, the last time I checked, Adam Oshomole was a textile worker. So if yeah, he's, but he's now no, no, a senator, no, 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 but if he sees no, 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 but if he sees your cloth, he can say this is linen or this is cotton. You see, let's not. I'm not, I'm not a military expert. I don't even know apart from few rifles. What I read, you know, Tavo, AK-47, and the rest. You know, yeah, but the politics of no, no, it but, is no, what no, we are no, talking but there's about nowhere here, in the world. No, no, actually. no, no. He might as well. The senator might as well go to buy arms for the military. I mean, it's not done anywhere in the world. You don't, you don't like Debo say, you, 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 uh, you don't beat the drum and also dance. There's what we call division of labor. See, this is the path these people have chosen. You understand? This is the path. It's like asking the F. I mean, I don't know. I don't. There's no even anywhere in the world military purchases are classified. That's the truth. That was why when Buhari tried to probe the, the former NSA, um, uh, Sam Bodasuki, your, your namesake, you know, it ended in a cool de sac because military spending. There's no way in the world where you, where you prove military spending because it's supposed to be classified. Because you don't, you don't, you don't. Yeah, I, but I, no, should no, have senators seen, be raising? No, no, have you ever seen a no, red no, flag no, 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 when so, they've invested money, they've approved no, money no, but, okay, from now, Abuja, and it looks like it's not working out there? No, no. How does it look? No, 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 how does it look like it's not working? It is such comments that actually demoralize the troops. You see, the best fight. I'll give us an example. During the Second World War, there was this uh, General Patton, um, uh, General George Patton, uh, Smith Patton. He entered the same troops, you know, um, the same troops, American troops, the same, they, they didn't buy more equipment. But he, he, he spoke to the soldiers, you know, he addressed them, he charged them, you know, he, he boosted their morale, and that turned around the war. So it's not, you know, you know guns don't fight war. If you, if you give the best weapons to soldiers and they're not motivated, they, they will drop the arms. And that was what... Uh, someone like General Lagbanda was addressing a few uh, weeks ago. You know, I, I, I read about his address when he was admonishing troops to be very, very bold and, you know, to... I'm, I'm sorry, in, 19, in 2000, when I went to Port Harcourt, there was this um, 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 Navy, Navy officer, um, Navy Captain Gabriel Ona. Yeah, quickly, yes, yes to Navy Captain Ga Gabriel Ona. He addressed men, NNS, okay, mini. That was my first story in Port Harcourt. He said, see, that we are better equipped we are better this. Don't be afraid of these boys. They are coming to us. Go after them. You are better equipped. You know, take, take, take them on. So, and that's what someone like that, like Mena is also saying now. He's so, we should encourage our troops. We should show them love. We show them support. Look at what happened a few days ago in Zakibiam. In 2001, 19 soldiers were killed in Zakibiam. You know, the, the, the government leveled Zakibiam. And now, 
a few days ago, see the same thing, same thing. The same people, they've burned down IMEC headquarters, they've done, you know, they've taken the laundry in the house, they've destroyed several things in the state. So it tells you that we have a problem ourselves as citizens. Because when we talk about security, we also owe these people some measure of support, not All just right. come. Uh, just as, uh, in just 30 seconds, let's yeah. talk about how Nigerians can support the military within the context of fighting this insurgency. Because we have thought that this issue of suicide bombing and all of that was gone. Now all of a sudden, we're seeing a resurgence very quickly. No, very quickly. See, to start with, soldiers don't live among civilians. Soldiers live in barracks. If civilians live among civilians. Policemen live among civilians. When we see something, we should say something. Because, you see, those who died in uh, Goza, it's not everybody from Goza. All the victims are from Goza. Some are from other parts of, um, of, of the country. But they died. You understand? So if we see something, we say something. Support the military. The current leadership of the military across board, they are determined to change the face of the narrative of uh, insecurity in Nigeria. And the least we owe them is to support them, you know, both morally and um, otherwise. All right. And I <laughs> think we too, as journalists, we will... <laughs> No, no, we no, no, a major no, no, support no, no, to why, the no, military no, no, because no, no, I mean, no, that's these issues. Here. I mean, when I saw that uh, headline actually by the Washington, no, it was very, very negative, very negative, yeah, I mean, this very negative going on because I mean, there was actually an agreement that Nigeria had done very well in tackling this insurgency. But this idea of saying that look, we are claiming that we've tackled this insurgency, but this suicide bombings even have in actually Israel, shown no, no, the no, underbelly. happened in Israel a few months ago. No, <laughs> well, what happened in Israel? Well, thank you. Terrorists came into Israeli soil and attacked and killed enough people. Will you, how, 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 do you, how do you address that? So the All least right. we should do is to support our military. They are, they are doing very well in the context of what's, what's on ground. And the least we should do is to support them. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, Chuks Akuna, as the executive director of the Authority newspaper, uh, one of the newspapers in the country. And of course, we must thank you for joining us to help us understand the issues uh, that's uh, being put out there on the resurgence of suicide bombings and, of course, how the military is uh, attacking uh, the attackers and, of course, the National Assembly's uproar during the week on what's been happening, claiming that it's uh, intelligence failure that led to that.